Runners now have a clear purpose in their training. After two years of uncertainty and frustration, 15,000 athletes can now get back into their preparation routine, and this for the world's biggest ultra marathon. Tula Caesar's favorite, the comrades. ENCA's Sipogazi Malinga has more. When organizers of the Comrades Marathon announced the return of the race for this year, it was like a weight off the shoulders of runners. It is a dream come true, to be honest. Uh, you don't want to train and you don't know what you're training for. So now at least we got uh, something to train for. And uh, most elites, they depend on running races to make a living. Uh, even our sponsors, uh, they always come back to us at the end of the year, what have you done? So it's good to see the races like Comrades coming back. Training for the Comrades Marathon involves a lot of time frames and milestones. Runners take part in shorter distances to improve their fitness levels, and doing virtual races is just not the same. Uh, I'm super happy. I know a lot of people who have been doing the visual runs. I've been part of them. But, you know, feeling exactly the feeling that we have been missing long time ago. And we need to take that opportunity. Preparations for me are going very well. Uh, recently, I just won uh, PDAC 25 kilometers in Pine Town. And I'm looking forward for my preparation for other races that are coming. We're still training to focus about the 2022 races. Yes, now I'm busy training for the 50 kilometer SAPE World uh, Championship. The down race this year will start from Peter Maritzburg on the 28th of August, giving runners enough time to prepare for the grueling 90 kilometers to Durban. Sipogazi Malenga, Durban.